everybody. Doug Dunbar and the crew joining you. A sniper hunting police officers. That is how prosecutors describe the man on trial for killing Richardson police officer David Sherrard. CBS 11's J.D. Miles getting us underway this afternoon live at the Collin County Courthouse. This is day number one of Brandon Day McCall's capital murder trial. Take us inside, J.D. Doug, already the jury got to see today what we expect to be the most dramatic evidence during this trial. That is the body cam videos from officers, including David Sherrard's. The audio, which we could all hear in the courtroom, documented the fallen officer's last words, which were, I got hit. The video, which only the jury saw, captured what prosecutors call an ambush. I was being hunted is how Richardson police officer Brian Alcorn described being trapped inside an apartment while taking gunfire that had already fatally wounded officer David Sherrard. The officer was one of several to testify against Brandon D. McCall on the first day of his capital murder trial. McCall is the first defendant to face a capital murder trial in Collin County in 11 years. He was inside a Richardson apartment in February 2018 when police officers found his roommate bleeding to death outside the front door from a gunshot wound. Three officers broke down the door, led by Sherrard, who was shot twice within five seconds. One of the other officers who was nearby testified that Sherrard was one of the biggest and toughest cops on the force. He described looking at him immediately after Sherrard was wounded. He was scared. Fear was something I never saw in him. Earlier during opening statements, Prosecutor Bill Worski told the jury that McCall positioned himself like a sniper in the back of the apartment waiting for police. So far, the defense hasn't tried to deny that McCall, who confessed to police, pulled the trigger. Now, the defense has suggested during cross-examinations that these officers should not have broken down the door to confront what they call a suicidal man. But those officers responded that they didn't know who was behind the door and that they made forced entry because there was blood on the door and they feared there were more murder victims inside. Live in McKinney, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. J.D., thank you so much.